This is a strip diagram. It is a method for you to find um, the answer to this kind of question where you're finding the percent or the part of a whole and you're given the other piece. So you don't have to use this method, but you do have to understand that it can be used for that and how it works. So basically you have a top section and a bottom section. You're gonna put zero on the top and the bottom section because that's where we're gonna start. Now one side needs to represent your percent. So since this bar is one whole, you're gonna use the end of it to be 100% because 100% is the total when we're talking about percent, it's one whole. Yes, it's more to have one, it's possible to have more than one whole, but typically you're gonna end at 100%. So do you see how it's split into four sections right here? We have section one, two, three, and four. So if I divide 100 by four, I'm gonna get 25. So that means each section needs to be 25%. So I'm actually gonna count by 25. So if the first one was 25, this shows me 50%, which makes sense because this is halfway across my bar. And then this would have to be 75%. So now I've got my bar split up into 25, 50, 75, and 100%. All right, now of course, if I was somewhere in here, it would be in between 25 and 50%. It could be like 35 or 40%. Um, but now let's talk about the question. It says 24 is what percent of 32? That of, remember of means whole. So we're trying to find the percent of 32. So 32 is my total. My bottom part of my um, bar is gonna represent the number that we're trying to find. And again, like since there's four sections, I'm gonna divide 32 by four. 32 divided by four is eight. So my sections should be at a size of eight. So I'm gonna count by eights down here, okay? So 8, 16, 24. Now I have to find where it matches up with 24, which is right here. The percent that matches up with it is 75. So that's how I figured out that 24 is 75% of 32.